Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Marvel Legends Black Widow action figure. This particular action figure is part of a two-pack that contains uh, Black Widow and Winter Soldier as part of the Fans Choice Winner sets uh, of Marvel Legends two-packs. This set uh, first came out uh, shortly after the uh, New York Comic Con of 2010 uh, and is a Toys R Us exclusive. I found this set at Toys R Us uh, around November of 2010 and they were selling the sets uh, at the time uh, for $24.99. Taking a look at the uh, figure in the package and uh, we'll take a peek at Winter Soldier in a separate video but uh, first uh, taking a look at uh, Black Widow here. You can see that she is in her uh, gray costume and uh, this particular set is the variant uh, of the uh, Black Widow and Winter Soldier set. Uh, the standard set uh, contains uh, Black Widow in her uh, black costume. But this one is the gray costume uh, that she wore uh, in the 80s uh, when drawn by Frank Miller. And uh, you can see that she has uh, the short hair that went with the uh, gray costume at the time. And she comes with a couple accessories and an alternate head, uh, that of her in uh, longer hair. On there. Taking a look here at the uh, back of the package, uh, you can see a description of uh, Black Widow and uh, Winter Soldier, a combined uh, description there. And uh, here are some statistics uh, for the Black Widow. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, be right back and have the Black Widow out of the package. Okay, we have Black Widow out of the package and it is a nice remold of the female shield agent that was released as part of the two packs earlier. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the accessories that come with the Black Widow first. First up uh, we have here an assault uh, rifle. It's kind of neat on there and uh, this one is a little bit smaller than the one that comes with uh, the Winter Soldier and uh, this one comes with a scope and a grenade launcher on there. It's kind of neat. I guess it better fits uh, Black Widow on there. Next up uh, is an alternate head. Uh, this one is uh, a longer haired version of uh, Black Widow and uh, this head uh, probably better fits the uh, black costume Black Widow and uh, not the gray suit because uh, the gray suit uh, Black Widow had um, shorter hair uh, most of the time uh, when Frank Miller drew uh, her and uh, this one I guess if you want to put a, a longer haired uh, Black Widow in a gray costume you can, uh, but I plan to uh, use this on a female uh, shield agent and uh, as a generic uh, shield agent figure on there. It's kind of neat. Uh, the hair is nice uh, soft and pliable rubbery like material on there and the sculpt is uh, very well done on there. And um, Another uh, accessory here is the pistol. This pistol is actually from the Winter Soldier. Uh, the one that came with the Black Widow uh, looked uh, more like a, a Luger type pistol right here. And uh, But I thought this one actually better fitted the uh, Soviet version of uh, Winter Soldier instead of um, Black Widow. And it's a little large too for her to wield and I, so I swapped the weapons here. This one actually looks like a better fit on there. And uh, and I think it uh, it's a nice swap on here. And here is the uh, Black Widow figure here. Uh, you can see here got clad in gray uh, from the 80's uh, costume uh, as rendered by Frank Miller on there. And as I mentioned earlier it's very much like the uh, female uh, shield agent. Uh, this one is Maria Hill here. 
and the majority of the parts to the Black Widow figure is uh, the female shield agent. The unique ones, of course, are the head, uh, the sculpt here on the wrists, and the upper torso there. But everything else is pretty much a sh female shield agent, just uh, painted in gray instead. On there, uh, taking a look at some of the details of the unique parts there, you could see. Here, let me put the arm down there. You could see uh, the details on the short haired version of Black Widow. It's actually uh, kind of neat. I actually like this uh, head uh, as opposed to the alternate head there. And uh, except for the back here, it looks like they just cut it off at the back right there. I uh, wish it was uh, more flush with the neck. And just kind of kind of sticks out on out in the back there. So a uh, pretty nice uh, head sculpt there. You can see the upper torso here with the uh, Black Widow symbol there. It's actually kind of neat. And also on the back uh, is a nice uh, Black Widow symbol there. That's very very cool on there. Everything else is pretty uh, plain. Uh, Compared to the female shield agent, the female shield agent had the painted boots and uh, gloves, but this is just all gray throughout on there. And then here's some more detail on the um, on the wrists there. It's kind of neat. And these are, I think, sculpt. No, they look like they're glued on on there. They don't move. Oh, yeah, they actually do move, so they're actually loose. My apologies on that. I didn't even, even check that out. <laughs> And uh, the hands are uh, the female shield agent hands, or they're a little longish. I wish they were a little bit uh, shorter on there. Uh, but the uh, hands, uh, like the female shield agent, uh, grip the uh, smaller pistol quite well on there. Whoops. On there. Kind of neat. Going over the articulation, the head uh, does go all the way around and uh, does go up and down and side to side and it's on a ball joint and it's uh, not too hard to replace the heads on here the arms uh, do go all the way around they do go out and in no uh, bicep swivel but there is a hinge swivel joint at the elbow so it actually uh, bends up and down and uh, rotates all the way around and I guess well, this uh, wrist here is stuck, so this is, I guess it was initially glued and this one just came loose on here, because this one won't move at all. The hands are also on a hinge uh, swivel joint, so they bend up and down and go all the way around. And they're preformed as in a, uh, I guess, trigger pose. So you can, uh, if you want to dual wield uh, pistols, you can. The upper torso is on a up and down uh, motion here and also all the way around. So it must be a, some sort of swivel joint on there. No waist articulation. The legs are on that uh, half ball hinge swivel joint. You can see the hinge joint there so you can have it go up and down. Uh, and if you manipulate that half ball joint you can uh, have it go in and out as well kind of hard to, you have to get a good grip on that uh, ball joint there and it does swivel all the way around as well uh, double knee joints which is kind of nice and the feet are on a uh, hinge swivel joint as well and so they go up and down and uh, all the way around overall very nice uh, reuse of the uh, female shield agent figure and a nice uh, variant of the uh, Black Widow figure. And uh, I do recommend it if you're a fan of uh, the 80s Black Widow figure and the Soviet um, Winter Soldier figure. And uh, if you can find it, uh, go ahead and pick one up. Uh, although the price on the two-pack sets are now uh, increased uh, when, when I first got uh, got this figure. I got this at $25. They're now selling $10 more at $35 and someplace $37. So if you're willing to spend that amount of money and uh, like this, fi these, this figure, go ahead and pick one up. But uh, this is my casual peek 
into the Marvel Legends 2 pack, uh, Black Widow a variant figure. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.